If you've ever tried to stay disciplined while trading, you know how hard it can be. You tell yourself you'll wait for your setup, then one candle moves fast and your heart rate spikes. And before you know it, you've jumped in early again. The trade doesn't even have to be bad. What hurts most is realizing you didn't follow your plan. Then you spend the rest of the day trying to get that control back. It's not that you lack discipline. It's that your brain is wired for short-term dopamine, not long-term consistency. And if you don't learn how to rewire that loop, the market will keep exploiting it over and over again. Here's the thing. Most traders think discipline is about trying harder. They think if they just have more willpower, they'll stop over trading, stop revenge trading, and stop breaking their rules. But neuroscience and trading psychology both say the same thing. Discipline isn't a skill, it's a chemical state. Every impulsive trade, every time you size up after a loss, or jump in early because you don't wanna miss it, that's your brain chasing dopamine in anticipation of a reward. You're not addicted to the money, you're addicted to the maybe. Dr. Brett Steinberger calls this emotional conditioning. Every time you break a rule and get rewarded, even once, you wire your brain to repeat it. Impulse becomes pleasure, and until you replace that wiring, you will keep making the same mistake with just different tickers. When I first started trading, I thought I had discipline. I had my morning routine, I had journaled, I studied charts, every night. But the moment the market opened, all of that disappeared. I'd see one quick breakout and it was like my brain flipped a switch. Logic gone. And the worst part, I justify it every time. I remember one day specifically, NASDAQ was moving fast. I'd already planned to wait for the first 30 minutes of balance to develop. But volume spiked. I felt uncertain and made impulsive decisions outside of my process. Within seconds, I was down several hundreds of dollars. Not because my analysis was wrong, but because I was emotionally conditioned to react like a normal person would when faced with fear and greed. That day, I wasn't trading the market. I was trading my emotions. That realization hit hard. So I started journaling every emotional impulse, not just entries and exits, but what I felt before taking them. I noticed a pattern. I was getting a dopamine hit before I entered, not after. It wasn't the win I was chasing, it was the anticipation. That's when I realized I didn't need to fix my strategy, I need to rewire my brain. So how do you actually rewire your brain for a trader's mindset? It starts with understanding how dopamine and discipline interact. When you force yourself to do something uncomfortable, like wading through noise or walking away from the screen after a loss, you're literally strengthening the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for long-term planning and impulse control. Each time you do that, you're building new neural connections that say, Patience equals progress. Think of it like strength training. The first time you hit the gym, your body fights back. You're sore, you don't see results. But every rep, every set builds small invisible adaptations. Trading discipline works the same way. Every time you don't take the impulse trade, you're adding one rep. Every time you follow your stop instead of moving it, another rep. At first it feels like punishment, then it becomes a habit and eventually becomes a part of your identity. Here's what I also learned the hard way. You're way more prone to impulse decisions when you don't have structure. If you wake up, scroll on Twitter, glance at the market and just see what happens, you've already surrendered your control before the open. Your brain craves structure because structure limits uncertainty in the market and uncertainty is where impulsivity thrives. The days I was most impulsive were the days I didn't have a defined process. No checklist, no pre-market plan, and no defined levels. Those were always the days I'd take random trades just to see. But the moment I built a consistent framework, morning prep, value area mapping, session bias, and clear invalidation points, my emotional impulses dropped dramatically. Why? because structure anchors your prefrontal cortex before dopamine can hijack it. A plan turns into chaos, into sequence. And when your brain knows the next step, it doesn't need to chase stimulation. Mark Douglas, the author of Trading in the Zone, said it best. The market is a mirror. It reflects your beliefs about uncertainty. If your belief is that you can wing it, you'll live in constant reaction. If your belief is structure equals freedom, you'll finally have control. When I started rewiring my own process, I stopped journaling just trades and started journaling dopamine. I tracked moments of temptation every time I felt the urge to click. Over time, I learned to treat those urges like signals. 
The same way you track volume spikes or delta shifts, I tracked emotional spikes. And slowly, my brain started associating discipline, not impulsiveness, with reward. That's when my trading changed. My losses got smaller, my entries got calmer, and the first time I wasn't trading from adrenaline, I was trading from awareness. That's when you know your brain is starting to rewire, when waiting feels just as satisfying as winning. And this isn't just my experience, this is neuroscience. Harvard and Stanford studies on neuroplasticity show that repeated self-regulation rewires synaptic patterns within weeks. Dr. Brett Steinbarger found the same thing with professional traders. Those who replaced performance journaling with process journaling, focusing on emotional control instead of PL, saw measurable improvements in consistency within a month. Mark Douglas built his entire framework around that same truth. You can't eliminate emotion. You have to train it in the same way you would train your execution. It's more like stepping into a ring. Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Mike Tyson said that, and trading's no different. The first time you take a real hit, a loss that stings, and a setup that looked perfect but rips against you, you tense up. Everything in you wants to swing back to make it right immediately. But over time, you stop reacting to every punch and you learn to conserve energy, pick your spots, and stay calm under pressure. The opponent doesn't change, your composure does. And that's when you finally start trading with the market instead of fighting it. When you learn to redirect dopamine towards discipline instead of outcomes, the market stops feeling like chaos. It starts feeling like a mirror you can control. You're no longer chasing the next trade for stimulation. You're waiting for the next trade that fits your plan. Because a real edge in trading isn't a setup or an indicator. It's a nervous system that stays calm enough to execute when you already know. That's what rewiring your brain for a trader's mindset looks like. And it starts with one simple habit. Make discipline the reward, not the punishment. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to check out more trading content, be sure to visit tastylive.com. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.